I'm Carly McAvoy. I, in the first video, showed you how to upload your data. In the second video, we made a histogram, which you can see on the page there. In this third video, we're going to do a frequency polygon. Frequency polygon require that we find the midterm. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a, a table that I have in a different document. So um, I did this earlier. I'm going to click where I want that, right click and just paste it, and that's going to put this in. So I have my class widths and I have my frequency. Notice that I have added in an extra row above 0, 0.00 and an extra row below 4.01. Those have frequencies of 0, but I need that to do a frequency polygon. Now what frequency polygons are based on is the midpoint. So what I want to do is find the midpoint of each of these, and to find the midpoint, I would add the two values and divide by 2. So 0.66 plus 0, 0.00, of course, half of that would be 0 0.33. And then I'm just going to continue to go down the line doing that. That's going to be, uh, I'm really just adding um, 0.67 because that was my class width. I can see that over there, so I just have to add point. 6, 7 to each one to get that, but you can also add the two numbers together and divide by 2. You should get the same answer either way, so whichever one works for you. And um, finally, my last one is 3.68. That's my last midpoint there, but I'm going to go ahead and put another midpoint at the end, so adding 0.67 to the end gives me uh, 4.35. And up here, I'm going to subtract 0.67 and get um, negative uh, 0.34. All right, so those are my midpoints that I need, and now I'm going to create a frequency polygon. I'm going to highlight. I'm going to make this look a little bit nicer again. I'm going to left click and format the cells and put the lines around them that I like, and then uh, kind of looks a little more done. And then I'm going to put in um, my values here, and I'm going to click on Insert, and I'm going to insert a line graph, and it doesn't look anything like what I want yet, but this is the one I'm going to choose, and then I'll fix it. So I can call this uh, frequency polygon if I want. You can give it whatever name you want. Um, and then I don't want both of these things graphed. I want the frequency graphed, but I don't want this midterm. So midpoint, excuse me. So I'm going to um, highlight that and um, select data. And you see where both of these things are being graphed? I don't want that to be graphed. I just want the midpoints to be graphed. So over here, I want on the horizontal axis, I want the frequency to be graphed, and I want the axis to be the midpoint. So I'm going to say from here to here. And that's going to give me the range of values, and that's going to go there. And then I'm going to click OK. So now you can see that I'm going from that first point that takes me all the way to 0 to the end point that takes me all the way to 0. And I have my frequency shown in there correctly. So that is how to make a frequency polygon. Once you do that, you're good to go. Have a fantastic day.